Hello everybody and welcome to your first video for AP Calculus AB. So what we're going to do in this video is just go through some basic information about how to read graphs and how to get information from graphs. What we're going to do is we're going to use these five graphs and I apologize that you can't see all five of them at once. I'm going to try to remember to move the paper when necessary. But we're going to go through these five graphs and we're going to use the graph of this piecewise function that's been graphed for us to try to find f of 2. Now as a reminder, f of 2 means find the y value of the function when x equals 2. So the number inside the parentheses here tells us the x value. Saying find f of 2 means find the y value that's associated with that specific x. Now let's take a look at the graph of this first piecewise function. So if I say find f of 2, I'm going to find the 2 on the x-axis and I'm going to look for the y value of the function that corresponds to that x value. In this case, the y value of the function would be 4 because the closed circle is on the 4. In the next graph, which is a slightly different piecewise function, if I look for where the x value is 2 on the x-axis, the y value here would also be 4 because the closed circle here is on the 4. This open circle means that there is no y value specifically at the end point of the piecewise function there. So the, the y value is always the closed circle. For the next graph, if I go to where x is 2, the y value here would be all the way here at 4 as well. Because again, that's where the closed circle is. For the next graph, if I go to where x is 2, the y value here would be 4 because that's where the closed circle is. And finally, for the last graph, I'm just going to slide over a little bit here, if the x is 2 and I go up the graph to see what the y value is, there is no closed circle anywhere for the value where x is 2. So here I would say that the y value does not exist because there is no closed circle anywhere. So what we really want to get out of this is we want for you guys to observe what you notice about all the values of f of 2 here. What you may notice is that for many of these values, we have the exact same location of a closed circle, the same y value. However, by looking at the graph, none of these graphs look the same. There are clearly very different situations going on here, even though the y value itself is the same for each of these answers. So what do I notice? In the first four graphs, the value f of 2 is always 4. However, the graph of the function looks very different in each picture. So what I really want you to kind of get out of this is that this y value might be the same, but you'll notice that in this piecewise function, the two pieces connect nicely. In this piecewise function, the two pieces do not connect at all, and one of them has a closed circle. 
In this piecewise function, the two pieces do not connect at all. Neither of them has a closed circle, but there is this singular dot in the middle. In this piecewise function, the pieces connect at an open circle, and the closed circle is somewhere else entirely. And in this piecewise function, the pieces connect at an open circle, and there is no closed circle anywhere else. So, what we need to realize is that does finding the value of f of 2, does finding the y value, give you a complete picture of what this graph looks like close to where x is 2? The answer to this is no. The value f of 2, which is the y value of the function, is not sufficient to provide a clear picture of the graph around x equals 2 the specific x value that we were looking at. Now this is really important and it's one of the fundamental ideas of calculus is that up until now where we've focused on the y values of functions, plug in numbers or look at graphs and plug in numbers to get y values, it is not a sufficient picture of what's really happening. In the next video, we're going to start working on developing some language and some notation and some ideas that will help us with a better description of how these different graphs connect. And it'll allow us to have a better description of what these graphs look like because we'll have more information than just the y value. All right, thank you so much for watching the first video, and I look forward to seeing you soon.